gonna be a fresh trip. I feel like a new man. Let me tell you, I've been exercised this morning. I feel great. Good morning, YouTube. So thanks to all our new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like, throw us a comment. In today's video, we're gonna be recovering some dining chairs. Customers chosen a blue Romo Delft fabric. First of all, it's gonna be a lot of stripping down and prepping. So we're gonna strip the chairs down, prep them all up ready for upholstery, make sure the springs are okay. Might need to put some new springs or some new webs on. Might need a new, be a new foam here and there. Definitely new Dacron throughout. This is gonna be a tutorial on how to recover your dining chairs. So I'll show you the way I do it and you can either copy or just enjoy the video. Just enjoy watching me, okay? Action! I've got my first chair. I mean, a little bit wobbly. What I'm gonna have to do is strip it down and then have a look. Yeah, let's start stripping and then see how it is underneath. So what I'm determining is, with this seat, I've stripped it down. So I'm determining whether the back needs work. It seems okay, to be honest. The fabric's okay. Seats, what I might do is just stick a couple of new webs under the seats. So what I'm probably gonna do here, I'm going to put a little bit of half inch underneath this bit here. See this bit of foam here? This is used, basically it goes underneath the seat foam to give it a nice dome shape. So I'm gonna put another half inch underneath this, put a little bit more elastic webbing in that. It's not the front to back, the front to back's all right, it's the side to sides, they're a little bit loose. Then I'm gonna put some thick Dacron on the front and the sides. So as I've done this, I've put the web, and I've looped it up and under, up, up and under, un up and under, around the old webs. So I'm pulling super tight across there. I'm just going to do a few of those just to give the seat a bit more strength. Basically each time you do a new web you go the opposite way. So this time I've gone under, over, under, over. So this one I've gone over, under, over, under. I've done that on every seat. I've also put this blue foam. Then I'm gonna put Hessian on top. Hessian basically protects the foam from the webs. Foam can collapse through the webs if they're not protected. And this is where you see a difference between good quality and not so good quality. So this is strong Hessian. First of all, I'm gonna staple it. Along the front rail. What I've done is I've turned the Hessian under itself. So we get a nice clean finish on this side. Do the same on the other side, turn it under, pull back nice and tight towards the back once it's turned under. Staple along the edge. Then try and get staples in as far back as you can. And then what I'm doing is I'm going underneath the back, it's a bit of a faff, and just staple it on the back rail. So what I've done is I've glued the seat back down. Now gluing the old foam back down. So that is a nice secure seat now. No one's gonna be able to put their foot through that again. What I'm also doing is I'm gonna stick some screws into the frame. It seems a bit wobbly. I'm going to cut the screws in because the frame's a little bit wobbly and that'll tighten everything up. So this is the join here. So I drilled through there. And likewise there. That's where the dowel's gonna be. That's where the wood's gonna be joined and glued. So that is that frame all fixed, repaired, everything that was damaged, fixed. So I'm putting my Dacron on now, doing new Dacron, I took the old stuff off. So 
enough to go around the side. Snips here. So you can push that back down and then this stuff can come down the side. Move it top down. Glue the new back on. on. That is now ready for upholstery. Right, guys, so I've taken the backs off. See that? That's the old back. So the fabric goes up and over. So it's one piece of fabric and I've marked top, front there. So I know that that is the front. So what I've done is I've unpicked that and I've got it here. I don't need to copy the seat fabric. I'm going to do that my own way. Do the back fabric my own way. All I'm doing here is going to flatten this out so I get a good true template behind. Tell you what, I'm a bloody good house husband. But my fiance, she doesn't like to iron. I don't mind it. So that is our template. All I'm doing here is taking off anything that I think isn't needed. See what they've done is they've, they've got a mark here. Yeah, they've got it on the fabric as well. So that's what I'll, I'll do that as well, just to make sure that your corners are in the same place. So yeah, that is the side panel. Now it's gonna start measuring our fabric. Well, I'm gonna measure how I'm gonna cut the back fabric. So what I do is, I like to get quite close to the wood so it's nice and tight. I'm gonna cut it just there. It's a 14 and a half, so I'm gonna cut it. 15 and a half, and then top to bottom I'm gonna go, because this fabric has got to come quite a long way, it's got to come under here, and then down to the bottom, so that is gonna go down to there. 58 inches, top to bottom. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure the seat. Before, what they did is they upholstered here. They stapled under there. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna sew that all the way down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure front to back so I have to feel where my fabric's gonna go. All right, so let's push that down, take it all the way down to where we need it. 31 inches front to back, side to side. 30 inches, so it's nearly square. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure to the wood because that's where I want it to finish. Right, so what I do here, so I've measured 31 front to back by 30 side to side, so that's near enough a square cut fabric. What I'm doing here is I'm measuring 17 and a half inches. So from where I want this seam to finish, 17 and a half. So I'm going to cut that 18 and a half. And then from there to there, I'm going to do that about six inches. So, so when I'm doing my measurements, I always like to do a diagram, do a top to bottom first and then a side to side. That 31 by 30, so I'm essentially going to cut square bit of fabric so that is going to be 30 side to side 31 front to back then I want to cut these corners out and then I'm going to stitch here I'm going to cut that out I'm going to stitch there to there so we're going to have a nice seam on the corner so I measured 17 and a half so that in between there is going to be 18 and a half so I'm going to go there to there it's 18 and a half and I've measured from here to the bottom I'm going to want about six inches so mark there six inches what I might do is I might curve that up slightly in the corner when I'm sewing. I might curve that up to give you a nice finish. That's how I'm going to cut a seat like this. You can't do that with every seat, but on this one you can. So that's how I'm going to cut it. And then I'll show you, once it's cut and sewn, how it's going to fit. Because on this chair, the seat has to go on first. Normally the back would go on first. But because of the way this seat has to finish underneath there. See, I've had to put a couple of screws in to reinforce the frame. Because the back has to come underneath here and all the way down to the bottom. I need to put the seat on first, and then the back goes over the top. That is how to cut a seat, and then we'll go on to fabric and cutting next. Right, so we're gonna cut a fabric now. So our measure was 30 inches side to side, 31 front to back. First of all, I wanna make sure that this pattern is in the center. So I'm gonna go 30 over here. So just also, I'm gonna just use the selvage as part of the measurement. So I'm gonna go 30 here, drops me straight onto the center of this pattern, which is great. It's always nice when you've got a pattern to follow. Like I said before, you don't have to mark everything with chalk, make sure everything's straight. This is still straight, I know that's straight. You can follow the pattern. 31 front to back, follow that pattern. And normally we mark top. I'm gonna to mark top of the fabric there, so I know that that is the back. So now we can come onto the back of the fabric. I'm just gonna draw a straight line down that pattern. I also measured in between 17 and a half, it is to the points. I'm gonna go 18 and a half, which is nine and a quarter. Yep, <laughs> wanted to double check. Always double check your measurements. You cannot afford to cut it wrong. Nine and a quarter again. So I'm gonna go same this side. Nine and a quarter from the middle. 
then I can draw a straight line there, straight line here. Then all I need to do is measure up how far that was six inches. So six inches that way, six inches this way. So now all I've got to do is chop these corners out. So I've got to sew these corners together, but also what you'll notice when I'm sewing is I sew straight up this line. Then I'm going to kick it in slightly. I'm going to come just a little bit, just to give me a nice little turn here. It's just going to sit nicer. So I'm just going to turn it in there, turn it in this way. Just going to give us a nice finish on the chair. What I might do is cut another one of these, just so I know that the pattern's going to be the same. If I can use this as a template, oh, that is going to work out absolutely perfectly. I'm going to copy that now. So we've got two. One's going to go straight on. So when I cut the other two chairs, I know all I've got to do is copy this template, lay it on like I've done with this one, and I know that they're all going to fit. The pattern's going to be in the same position on each chair. Right, so let's sew this seat up, try it on. So, we're going to sew straight up. And as we get to here, we're going to kick it in. I'll show you again. Right, so that's the seat. Now I just need to check that it fits. Right, so what I've done here is I've pulled down, got my seam exactly where I need it. Now I'm going to put an anchor in there. Temporary staple, which means you're going to put a staple in at an angle slightly so it's easy to get out. You're going to do the same over here. So look at the chair. Make sure the seams line up, they look okay. They're in about the same place. So then we're laying our fabric down flat. And we're cutting into the seat up to the rail we'll cut in a V same on this side so push all the fabric underneath we'll pull it all through on the back Always keep an eye on your pattern, make sure it's straight. Just lifting up this bit of wood here, and stapling the back of the seat down. Right, so that's the back of the seat done. Then what I do here, pull back, the whole point back here. And the same on the other side. You can look at that and see if the fabric's straight. So now we come to the front. The back's stapled on, so we're going to roll over. Your fabric's nice and straight. You can see the pattern here, you want it to be in the same position all the way along. And what I've done here is I've pulled the fabric this way, I'm going to have a nice tight corner here. I'm going to cut up into the leg. Staple down all the way to the leg. Like we've done previously, we're cutting up into this leg here. What I've done is I've used my regulator, tuck the fabric under, same here, I'm going to pull nice and tight, and I know now that that is really tight and that fabric is not going to come up. We're going to be putting studs around here anyway, but that's besides the point. Even if we weren't putting studs on there, that corner wouldn't come up. Now, we're just going to roll our fabric over and work our way back. What I've done is I've cut into here, so and I've cut around this side as well, up 
into the leg. I know now that that is going to allow me to tuck that fabric under. If pulling tight, you can snip a little bit more because you need to be tight. I've snipped a little bit more. So I know now that that fabric is going to go under there. I can staple in there. Now we start working our way back. So right now we're cutting the fabric for the seats. You can't see me, but I'm keep talking to you. My width needs to be 15 and a half inches to fit that back, because it's gonna finish 14 and a half inches. So, find the central pattern and go seven three quarters either side of that pattern. Seven three quarters and then 15 and a half. Same up here. What I've done here is I've copied what I've done here. <laughs> I've copied the old panel. There's a nip in it. There's a, well, there's a mark. So I've marked that up on my fabric. So I'm just going to mark this top, and that's the front. What we're doing is we're cutting down into our rail, which is down there. Make sure your pattern lines up. Pretty much does. So, I'm gonna get this stapled off first. This is your inside back. I'm not gonna pull too tight. Don't want to pull it too tight. What I'm doing here, bring my fabric down. Right, what we're at now, we want to make sure this piping is going to finish on this leg. We're going to cut about three quarters of an inch away, then it gets quite fiddly now. This is the way this chair is designed, you have to finish the pipe in here, there's nowhere to put it. So, we're going to pull the pipe in out, chop it away. Now, turn our fabric under using your regulator. Get that stapled down. So again, cutting out more piping. So you can pull the piping up, you see how much you're gonna need off. About there. One side done. So what we're doing now guys is we're going to put the bottom on. So we've just cut a square bit of fabric, folded it under at the front here. We recently uploaded a video on how to do a bottom. So we'll leave it in a link above and in the description below. Right, so we're just going to finish off this chair. So bottoms on, fire labels on. Now we are going to just finish it off with a couple of studs. We're going to use strip studs on these. So this is strip stud. This is, which one is this? Bronze Renaissance. Very pesh. So we're gonna put some studs on the front just to give it a nice finish. So we've got our tack hammer. So cut that off there. Right, that's it, all finished. Studded, strip studded on the front, back and sides, just to clean it up. And that is how to recover a dining chair. Thanks for watching.